Well, good morning people, wherever you're from, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're watching this from, I'm in the garden. Well, I, I am in the garden, but I uh, have to come in because the wind is blowing the, the, the scripture that I wanted to share. I hope today, whatever you're doing, you're having a good day by the grace of God. If the sun is out, wherever you are, it's a blessing. You know, the sun is millions of miles away. And once the sun, the sun comes out, it makes everybody happy. That is our God giving, our, giving us an unseen gift, which sometimes we can neglect. So every time the sun is out and we've got a smile on our face, that's God giving us grace without, without us even noticing. And I just want to talk about one quick couple of bit of scripture. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. You know, I want to challenge you. You know, whatever the Lord has done to you, done for you. Have you sung his praises? Have you given him the glory? Have you told somebody that, how great our God is? You know, most of you know my testimony, how he set me free from drink and drugs. From the, from the hospital bed to the deathbed, I've been there and God picked me up at the right time. So, you know, I should, I do give thanks to the Lord, but, you know, I don't give him enough praise, I don't give him enough glory. You know, I'm not trying, trying to condemn you. But, you know, give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. You know, he is worthy. You know, he is the one who went to the cross, beaten, scorned, for us, for me and you. You know, if, we, if I was the last person on God's earth, he would still die for me. And I just think that is amazing. Even on the cross, where the thief said, remember me in your kingdom, and Jesus turned round and said, Today you will be with me in paradise. Wow. You know, because the wrath of God is coming soon. People are unaware. People are spiritually blind that the rapture of God is coming. The rapture of the church is nigh. And people are still blind to it. But we, as we got breath from Jesus... We can spread the word. We can sing his praises because he is most worthy of the praise. Heaven cannot contain him. He is the lily of the valley. If you go down to the depths, the deep depth of the earth, he is there with you. If you were at rock bottom, remember, Jesus is the rock at the bottom. You know, and it's not too late. If you were, I haven't given you a heart and life to Christ. You will be under his wrath. You will be left behind. And I'm not trying to frighten you. It's the truth. It's the true gospel. We don't hear too much of the wrath. Of wrath in churches these days. It's all feel good sermons. Feel good. Don't want to offend anybody. You know. But you know. If, if, if we don't tell people. We are sending people to hell. It's up to us. It's up to us to, to, to let the good tell people of the good news that Jesus saves. Jesus is alive. Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus said, I am, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Let all who want to come to me come. Let all. You know, we can be judgmental. I've done it myself. But God said, Let all who want to come, come. You know, the woman who was caught in adultery, he said, let him who is without sin. Who do you know who is without sin? Absolutely nobody. We're all equal. We're all the same. So I just wanted to say, that's a little bit of verse. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and for his strength, continually seeking him. Like Matthew, Matthew 6.33 Above all else, seek first the kingdom of God. Seek God first. 
are not materialistic things. And that's it really. I just hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, encouragement. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye bye. Love you all.